What's up guys, it's Raya. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing kind of like a new in Ojai Beauty. I have some of their new skincare products and their new lip smudges that everyone's so excited about. They did gift all of these to me, so I'm so freaking excited because then I can share it with you guys. And I've actually been really enjoying their products. I did do a um, Ojai Beauty product, like a full face of Ojai Beauty products um, a few months ago. So I'll put it in the cards above somewhere up here. That way you guys can watch it because um, I still love that look that I did. But yeah, um, I'm just going to do like a quick run through of all the products. Um, the skincare products, some of them I can't use. And then of course, um, the lip smudges. So it'll kind of just be like um, a first impressions and then as well I will do swatches of the lip smudges for you guys to see so let's get right in here is the little package they sent me there they all are super exciting I'll do like the more skin carry things first so here I have the Ojai Skin Quench Spray Serum Energizing Matcha they do have three different um, formulas here on the little sheet. I'm actually really excited that they sent me the matcha one um, just because I love matcha. I like to drink it. Um, so we'll see how it does. You guys know I love like mists and sprays and such. So really excited to use these and the packaging's really cute. This is vegan and cruelty free. And then we have the Get Fresh toner pads. I have the Calendula and Turmeric one my only thing with this is i don't believe that these pads are biodegradable i will look more into that um but yeah i don't know i just have like this standard for like skincare and beauty products that just to be a little bit more um eco-friendly in those senses uh but this says um a quick way to freshen prep or tone skin apply after cleansing or anytime you need a quick refresh on the go i popped a little hole in here so i can smell it mm, actually smells really really good don't worry i'm gonna try the mist after i put on the lip smudges just to wrap everything up so wait for that now for the lip smudges they sent me three shades it says here on the little paper that they have five different shades. I'm actually quite happy that they sent these shades over to me because they're just so me. <laughs> um, I have Smolder, Scorpio, and then Cerise. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It says here, a sheer lipstick that applies creamy and dries to a semi-matte finish. Ooh, I like that. Lip smudge gives the look of a stain without any staining pigment. It's like you just ate a popsicle. Ooh, I like those types of looks. I like the way it sounds. Okay, I zoomed you guys in a little bit. I did already prep my lips nicely. Um, so I'm going to try on Scorpio first. It's really cute. And the inside it says, kiss me. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like i think there's no denying that this does look a lot of like the glossy gen g's but i really do like the feel of the packaging a little bit asmr like this reminds me of like the old gen g packaging which it was like really sleek but i will say that this feels a lot like better quality not so like plasticky here's what the bullet looks like all right, so let's put her on. Ooh, okay, so first impression on the application that was super, super creamy. Ooh. Wow, it's really, really creamy. Mmm. Ooh, I really love the way that, that feels on my lips. Um, I don't know if it's like my lip balm I'm, I'm, I'm sure that my lip balm like contributed to it because it's like really moisturizing but oh it feels really really good and i love the transparency to it because yeah i don't know i gravitate more towards those type of lip products for every day um oh really nice i don't know if you guys can tell i really love the shade kind of like my lips but better just a tad bit lighter 
kind of on me pulls up like kind of just rosy mm, yeah this is really creamy guys i would say that this is a little bit more creamy and like spreadable than Glossier's Genji. Ooh, love this. Now we're gonna try Cerise. I really hope I'm pronouncing that right guys. Please let me know. Ooh. Oh, I already know I'm gonna like this shade. Oh, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ooh, you guys, this is it. Like, this is the type of lip shade that just makes me feel iconic. <laughs> um. It's just like a good pop of color, but it's like super bitten. So it kind of like, it's kind of like mysterious, sexy. I don't know. It's kind of like what I think of. This just makes me feel super effortless, chic, sexy at the same time. Yes, I love this one. Okay, and now for the last shade, you guys. Cerise actually um, threw a little curveball for me because I honestly um, am doing the red last because you guys know I love my reds and I didn't expect to love that one as much as I did. So we'll see how the red turns out. Okay, this one actually didn't turn out the way that I thought it was going to. Um, it's pulling off more on like the tangerine type of side. I don't know if that's like the right term or like the right thing, but yeah, this for sure is pulling up more of like a red orange on me. Um, hmm. I don't hate it. Um, I don't know if this is typically a shade that I would go for every day, but I must say it's kind of slowly growing on me. I feel like this is the kind of shade that's going to look like good with like a sun-kissed type of makeup. The shade's like comes up very tropical on me. I thought this was going to come out a little bit darker. Um, it's not bad. Just very like tropical vibes on me, you know? Okay, now we're going to set everything with the Skin Quench Spray Serum. Um, now that I think about it, I don't know like where this serum is coming from. But I hope this doesn't break my makeup apart. So let's give it a whirl. Ooh, did you guys see that? That was such a big mist and it felt super fine as well. Mmm, smells really good too. Mmm. Ooh. It's like a very like I feel like quench was so perfect to add to this because it really does feel like my skin just literally got a gulp of something. Mm. Mm. Wow. You know like those mists where you kind of have to spray them and then go in front of a fan to make sure that everything is just kind of like spraying evenly? I feel like this does fine on its own. I don't know if you guys like saw that. You just have to feel it in order to like know I felt really nice so yeah I guess I will let you guys know like a little follow-up on Instagram how um, this ends up being as well as these um, toner pads I have them already so I may as well just try them and let you guys know what I think about them so that concludes today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it and that it was 
somewhat informative. I know it's like not a lot of like info when you're first starting out. I know I still have to form a better opinion on it, but those were my initial thoughts and I am really actually liking the lip smudges. I feel like the formula was really creamy. I am really loving kind of like the transparency to it. Um, like I said, I do feel like these are a tad bit more creamy than Glossier's Genji. I feel like the shades that they have are great, but I feel like Glossier has ones that are more um, like for your every mood, but these are great for like everyday, timeless, those like, you know, like everyday colors. Um, this one's super wearable. Like I said, I love this one. Cerise is definitely going to be my go-to shade now. So yeah, comment everything down below. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's like the 10th time, but I love you guys. So, laters.